Here we have a limited slip differential. It comprises of pretty much all the same parts as an open center differential, except we have this clutch pack here. We have a pinion that is coming out of the transmission to drive the differential. We have a ring gear here, which gives us a reduction in speed, but an increase in torque. We have a center housing here, which drives the two axles via these two side gears. We have a spline on the inside of the side gear, and that will drive the axle. We also have two spider gears here. Now the spider gears will walk around the slower axle gear and transmit more RPM to the outside wheel in most cases when we're turning a corner. So we turn a corner, the inside wheel will slow down, it's under more resistance, and the outside wheel will speed up. They still have the same amount of torque available to each side, except for it is speeding up because it has less resistance on the outside wheel. That's all well and good until we go off road. Once we go off road, we have a wheel off the ground or it's in some slippery conditions, we don't always want the wheel with the least amount of resistance to receive all of the RPM coming out of the differential. We want the wheel with the most amount of traction to receive all of that torque. So what we have here is a clutch pack. Now the clutch pack has these plates and it has these discs. The discs will spline to the axle gear and the plates spline to the housing. The idea between this is once we have a axle gear that is spinning faster or slower than the center housing, these friction discs will add an amount of friction depending on how much power we're putting through the differential and they will either slow down or speed up the axle gear. So we have a wheel off the ground, the axle is spinning really fast, the wheel's spinning, there's no traction on that wheel at all. These will start to create friction and they will try and encourage the axle gear that's spinning too fast to slow down to the speed of the center housing. And conversely, the axle that is on the ground and is now stationary will be encouraged to speed up to the same speed as this housing. It offers a limited slip between the two wheels, so we can still turn corners comfortably, but if we put a bit of power through it, these friction discs will start to lock up and they will encourage these two gears to either speed up or slow down, so they are going relatively the same speed and we can transmit power from the wheel that is off the ground to the wheel with the most amount of traction in a limited sort of way. It's a good compromise between an open center differential and a fully locked one.